Hey guys, I'm Isaac Simpson. And I'm Noah Butler. Thanks for checking out our first behind the scenes video. Today we're gonna to be talking about our most recent action short, Run. But before we dive into that, I do have a few things we wanna cover. So for those of you who don't know, Sonar Squirrels is a group of friends who have all, we all do our own individual videos um, on YouTube. But we've come together to form a larger um, production company called Sonar Squirrel. And we, we wanted to make bigger and better projects for you guys. Yeah, and so um, these projects we're going to be uploading twice a month, the second and fourth Friday. Uh, the second Friday of each month we're going to be uploading our main video, and then the fourth Friday we'll be uploading a behind the scenes just like the one you're watching right now. So just stay tuned, keep, uh, keep looking for those videos, and uh, yeah, I guess we'll dive into the content. All right. All right, so now we're just gonna take a minute to talk about the concept, really the creative pre-production process that we uh, went through to create this video. So Noah, do you wanna start us off? Yeah, so Isaac had been telling me about this, uh, this production company he wanted to start called Sonar Squirrel Productions. And we'd been talking about it on and off for, you know, a year, I mean. About a year. Yeah, it was, yeah. It was a little while. And uh, finally I called him up one day out of the blue and I was like, look dude, you want to do this production company I want to do it. Why are we making excuses? Let's just sit down and just do it. Let's just go for it. Yep. If it's good, it's good. If it's not, it's not. You know. Yeah, yeah. We're just gonna do it. So I finally talked him into it. He did not want to. He, it took me forever to convince. It took like an hour. I had to convince him. Finally, I convinced him to do it. And so we just started. You know, we started bouncing ideas off each other's head, and he finally agreed to do it. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, there was lots of phone conversations that took place uh, in the pre-production process of this video. You know, Noah lives about an hour away, so it's not really easy for us to meet in person very often. So. Um, what, what we did was we mostly spent time on the phone kind of going over kind of what we wanted the storyboard to look like, um, what we really, we were trying to visualize what we wanted the video to feel like and uh, we wanted to kind of captivate the audience with good um, action sequences, a nice, a nice cinematic look, but we also wanted to operate within our, you know, skill level and our time, time you know, availability. So we, we, we tried to make it short kind of intriguing and with a kind of I felt like was an, an okay eerie feel we like an the eerie feel yeah. yeah so I mean that was really and another thing that we was that was a big big important thing for us was we wanted to make quality content that was super easy for us to make uh, to get around our you know our busy schedules like Isaac said yeah I live over an hour away from him and it's not not really easy for us to you know just meet up all the time yeah. for whatever but we wanted to we wanted it to be good and like very high quality content. And so I feel like we've achieved that. I feel like we achieved that. It was definitely a, a fun process. Yeah. So let's get into the, uh, the actual methods of what we did. Yeah. So now we're going to talk about the methods that we used to uh, Make, accomplish run, run. A yeah. success. Yeah, we wanted. Um, we knew we wanted to film outside at at night, um, which is really difficult. Um, and then we wanted it to be in the woods, which is a whole nother ball game. Um, so we we couldn't really accomplish that, but that is the look that we wanted to go with. So instead of filming it outside, we filmed the entire thing inside. Now, I don't know about y'all, but that is cool. I, I, mean, think, I think, for especially for what it came out to be. Oh yeah, it, yeah that's yeah. awesome. I think it's pretty neat. So in reality, what this, what this looked like in reality was this. this yeah so I'd, I'd say that's pretty high contrast uh, it's pretty good it's, uh, it was a uh, that's pretty good that's it, was, it was pretty good that's all, that's all i gotta say yeah. yeah so next we want to talk a little bit about what we had to do to make the set kind of work yeah we so did. all the foliage the trees the grass all that yep. stuff that you see I, it came from my backyard. Yep. <laughs> I filled. I, I filled my entire trunk. I laid down two rows of seats. There was. Um, I filled my entire trunk up with trees and branches. There was a lot grass. of. Uh, there was a lot of bugs in your car after that. There were also lots of bugs. There were lots of spiders. We were filming 
and we found a spider crawling up on some of the He was leaves. weird looking. It was a weird looking spider. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> then we but, uh, we set up some curtains in the mm -hmm. room yep. that we were filming in. The whole all the all the walls in the room were black. Black. But there was one wall that that didn't have No, it was it the room a, that we filmed in was actually a theater room, not like a movie theater room, but it like was a, a it was like a black box theater, um, and so the projector screen was projector in the way. screen. So speakers, we took and we like hung that. up some curtains with staples mm -hmm. and like gaff tape and stuff yep. on a beam that went across the ceiling, like part yeah. of the roof, just like a supporting. Yeah, so beam. we just hung them up there, mm -hmm. and then we had to hang some lights up. Um, we uh, yeah. we actually so we wanted to mimic moonlight because it it takes place outside at night, right? But we 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 didn't have any gels because the ones we did have got misplaced I, I i don't know how long ago they got misplaced we just didn't even notice that they were misplaced until we had to film so we, we couldn't improvise we couldn't order any for some reason even on amazon like i was checking and i none like there were none available that would get here in time and so, so we just used we i i went to michael's and bought some cellophane <laughs> bought some like gift Blue wrap stuff gift wrap Something. Yep, and, and uh, we just layered it over mm -hmm. until we got the light that we yeah, wanted. Yeah, we put it inside of the soft box. And then to to help make the the light really feel like you know make it look realistic, we filled the room with haze. haze. We yep. filled, we had a haze machine, and we just so we we filled the room with haze. We had the light up on the ceiling, which we zip tied up there. Yeah. It was um, kind of scary because you never knew when it was going to fall down. It worked. It worked. It, it was fine. It's fine. What works works. But, um, so the the haze really ties the the room together. Um, it, and then we took some mister bottles. We filled them up with water. Yep. And, and we, we just misted the plants. So we were trying to mimic what it would be like in the woods or a forest or whatever at night. We wanted to have that kind of hazy look for the moonlight to have something to grab onto. We wanted to give the plants a little bit more life to them, kind of some like a dew like look, like the dew is set in for the night. Um, it just really kind of, it, you'd be surprised how much it helps. It just yeah, really ties everything crazy. together. So, And we, uh, so what we did with the trees is we took them all, all that stuff and we just zip tied it to light stands. Light stands, yep. To make it look like trees and so. And bushes and just, right, just foliage, crazy. just shrubbery. Yep. And know. we we used French turnarounds yeah. to to do that. We so did instead of the actors moving around uh, in in the set, we had to move the set around the actors to yep. make it look like it's a different. Yeah, know, we we instead of the camera scenery. going around the set to film in different directions, we couldn't do that because of the way that the room was laid out. So we filmed it all in one direction and just rotated the set and then rearranged it for each shot. Yep. So it was it was a really I've never done it before and the the fact that we have never tried this before and it you turned out so it good off. really I'm satisfied. With I'm it. super satisfied. Yeah. But um we did want to take a minute to talk about where we kind of got this idea from. Uh we did not come, come up, up with, with this, this ourselves. Yep. Um we we saw this effect used by Film Riot and uh if you guys don't know who they are they're really really good group of guys they uh, make really high quality content they're doing a great thing over there so uh, we wanted to just take a minute and thank, thank them. them yeah we'll so, have a link to the video where we saw this in the description you can check them out you know go subscribe you know, support yep. them and then we want to take one more second to, to thank our friend trey mm -hmm. for uh coming and helping us do the choreography yeah he's a he's a second degree black belt and uh hot so he pedo. knows what he's doing he knows what he's doing he he knows how to uh how to actually do a bunch of the stuff that we wanted done um we so. don't know very much i know a very limited amount i mean i i actually do hop keto with trey but i'm i'm not as he's good just as starting him. i'm just starting so <laughs> um but we, yeah, we definitely could not have accomplished some of those action shots. And when you're watching, you know, it's such a short video and everything kind of happens so fast, you don't really have time to notice the the attention to detail and stuff that went into that. But it it's kind of like um, special effects. You don't really notice special effects unless they're bad. Yeah. <laughs> if if but. you're doing a good job in VFX... You're, you know you're doing a good job when it just goes kind of unnoticed, when it just feels natural. And so I, that's really what Trey did. You know, it was it was the small stuff that he figured out and worked out for us that, that really made a difference. And, and we wanted to thank him for being kicked in the face yeah, and he, falling on his butt. He got kicked and, and... Because he's this guy. 
yeah, he uh, he was doing a great job choreo uh, or choreographing all of that with us, and so yeah. yeah, just wanted to thank you, Trey. Good job. Keep up the good work. All right, now we're gonna move on to some of the obstacles that. We yeah, some of the opt obstacles. Now we're gonna just take a minute to talk about some of the uh, the obstacles that we faced making run the awesome video that it was. Yeah. So in every film project, you're gonna there's gonna be obstacles and yeah. things that you just have to go. Just and it just it. happens. It's a reality of the situation. If you're working on any sort of film project, you're gonna run into these issues. And things happen. You can go through them or you can go around them. Right. So going through them is kind of like you know getting better equipment or spending a whole lot more time. You yeah. know, reshooting. It's, it's or just whatever. more time and resources you got to invest into the project. Right, and that's something we didn't have time or more we didn't, resources. We didn't have the time or the resources to go through it. Right, so we just had to go around it. We had yep. to. Uh, we we had to end up making a sacrifice and cutting out a whole chunk of the video yep. that we originally planned to put in there. And we wanted it to be in there. We felt like it added um, a little bit. A little bit know? to the to kind of explain what's happening, but we didn't feel like it added enough to to make the time and resources um, for the video. You know, we, we just had to make the call. Right, we just had to, we had to sacrifice the, the original section. So in the original idea, there was gonna be a uh, a, a whole nother out, out, we actually, a whole nother sequence that we were gonna film outside. And right. that right there is the reason that it didn't work out. And, because uh, the lighting didn't The lighting it didn't, didn't, work. It didn't work. We had to film it on a road, so we couldn't mimic that inside. Um, right. We just wound up having to cut it. But we did want to take time to thank our buddy. John Lorai. John Lorai. He was a huge help. Absolutely. But he, he didn't make it into the final cut because he was a part of the uh, filming on the was... second day that, right. that, that got cut. And... Um, but he was super helpful. Like he he was in the video. He uh, drove a bunch of the gear out to the film location for us, and um, he was helping with the creative process. You know, figuring out some of the small issues that we had and adapting. Right. And he also did some crazy stunt driving. Some crazy stunt driving. <laughs> like this. Yeah. So we just wanted to take a minute to thank you, John Lorai. Thank you so Thanks much for, for helping for awesome. out. And sorry you did not make it into the final, the final cut. cut. So that concludes our first behind the scenes video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it and stay tuned for more videos. Yep, thank you guys so much for watching because if you guys didn't watch our videos, then we would not be able to do this, frankly. Yeah. So we thank y'all so much for watching and please subscribe, like, and share. Share it with everybody you know. Yep. <laughs> and uh, if you have any questions yeah, about any questions. the video or anything, anything that we didn't answer, mm -hmm. um, Please leave those questions in the comments and we yeah. will definitely try we to try to stay pretty aware yeah. of what's happening. We'll try to comments. answer your questions. So thank you guys again for watching and uh, stay tuned because these videos are going to be coming out. Uh, remember this on the second Friday of the month and mm -hmm. the fourth Friday of the month. Yep, so, every month. Yep. So thank you all again for watching and we'll see y'all next time. Bye. All right. Bye. So, so, so it'll be like that. Yeah. You'll probably need to.